I'm on in YouTube. I picked all my ripe chilies last week, and now this uh, Cheyenne has got a bunch of ripe ones on it again. And there's more down here. Look. Um, this one here is a Apache, there's quite a few ripe on that, and there's another Apache over there. Oh, that's also got quite a few ripe ones on it. It was a week ago I picked them, <laughs> so they're really quite productive. Um, this one here is my Scotch Bonnet, and that's got quite a bit of fruit on it. That one's quite big actually. Um, I have two Scotch bonnets, that's one of them. It's got quite a lot of fruit on it, but it's all green. Um, the other one is over here, and there's some ripe fruit on there forming. So, yeah, that's quite good. Um, quite a few tomatoes, I'm about to pick a few more ripe tomatoes out of here, um, which is quite good as well, considering it's now the second. I think it's the 2nd of September. The other thing to show you, just quickly, um, I'm excited about, but I know Penny, that's um, P. Smith Gardner, <laughs> she'll be laughing when she sees this. This is my sugar baby watermelon, which, as you can see, may be there. It's about tennis ball size. She had one over £32 she picked, and... Uh, so, uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm a novice, but yeah, I'm quite excited to be getting any fruit at all. Um, also, on these Minnesota midget melons, I have a little baby there. I think I've got a couple. Yeah, there's another one there, look. So there's two of them. Uh, so that's also quite exciting for me. They're the ones of Minnesota. Oh, another two from there, look. Wow. The Minnesota Midget is the one that Cindy sent me from uh, my Lazy Day Garden. So yeah, she's had some bigger fruit as well. So <laughs> um, I'm going to have to be one of them guys who says sizes and everything. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave it there because um, I don't really got much else to show you. As I said, I'll be picking some tomatoes in a minute and... Uh, and I've got quite a bit to be getting on with today. But, oh, just one other little quick thing. Um, the sprouts I put in the organic uh, oh, hydroponic solution. Um, I'm not sure if it's grown at all or not. But the root certainly is longer. And that's in just a week. Um, the other one, the plant's quite small. Um, oh, I, I cut the cut the old too big so I had to make another pot and cut the bottom out of it just to keep it in place but even that the roots getting bigger so that's cool that's cool um, this hydroponic tomato that's been in here for months there's still a bit of fruit on it I'm still waiting for it to ripen uh, and the courgette runs the length of the greenhouse now this shooting star um, well worth growing that. I've had quite a lot off of that. Well worth impressed with that. Okay, gonna leave you there. So it's later on the same afternoon, and I got some posts today. I got a mail call. Yeah, this has come all the way from the United States. I mentioned her earlier when I was talking about my sorry attempt at growing a watermelon. This is from Penny. P. Smith Gardener. She sent me a load of her watermelon seeds from, I don't know if you can see that, Penny's Sunburst. That's what she's called it. And I'm hoping that these guys next year are going to help me grow a large watermelon. Or at least something bigger than that little guy down there. Wait. That's about tennis ball size. I've also, as I showed you earlier, got these little guys here that are about minuscule. Oh no, these two are getting bigger. But yeah, that's it. I don't want to keep you any longer. Just to say thanks, Penny. I received them. 
and uh, I'll be planting them next year. Thanks again.